Hello everyone, I am Pratiksha here. Today I am doing the most requested video, my balcony tour. Monsoon has just started and today we have such a beautiful rainy morning in Bangalore. My garden is looking so fresh and lush with those crystal like droplets. Alright, we have two balconies. One is attached to our master bedroom that receives good amount of sunlight and uh, where I keep my all flowering plants. A few months back, I shared a separate video of my flowering balcony. If you love flowering plants, then you should check out that video. Okay, about this balcony, it doesn't receive good amount of sunlight. So I use this place for growing my foliage plants. In monsoon season, we don't get enough sunlight, particularly for our indoor plants. So as the season changes, or I would say lightning condition, I keep changing and rotating my plant places. The plants that you can see here, they are not permanently placed here. Their places keep changing and rotating. First, we'll start with this wall area. Uh, as I shared with you, the space is not so big so to utilize maximum space for growing my plants last year we fixed these wall hangers here you can call them wall grill racks to keep plants they are quite sturdy and durable and the good part is they hold heavy weight i brought all these from amazon In first rack, I have alocasia silver dragon and black velvet. I am fan of a tropical big lush foliage and you can see they have beautiful foliage. I brought these plants 4 to 6 months back. They are growing quite well here because they are unfurling new leaves every week. So I am really happy with them. They do really well in monsoon season. Next here is Begonia morisemi. As I shared with you, I use this balcony space for growing maximum foliage plants. So for adding some bright color and texture, I love growing colorful foliage plants. This plant has dazzling unique foliage with eye-catching pattern. And from my experience, this variety is quite hardy and not demanding compared to other begonias. Alright, on the second higher side rack, I have this golden fern. Actually, I have not moved this plant since last year because it is growing beautifully here. It gets perfect light and humidity surrounded by other plants. In monsoon, it grows vigorously and look amazing. It is must grow monsoon plant. I like its growing pattern and its sprouting and falling down leaves. Gives a tropical wild effect to the space. About their care tips, I have made separate video, you can check out that later. One thing that I would mention here is, I put dry tea leaves regularly to my ferns once in 15 to 20 days and it works magically. Here I have my last year's caladium. Again to add bright colors in between greens, I placed it here. Caladiums are the best foliage plants to add colors in shaded area and a great choice especially in the growing rainy season. They love monsoon. Caladium flourishes during monsoon and show its best colors. During the winter, it will go into dormancy period and it will sprout again once the conditions are favorable for it. Here is Philodendron Birkin. I keep changing its place. I used to keep it in the living room next to the window, but due to cloudy weather, it is not getting sufficient light, so I moved it here for more white and strip leaves. Here on the third track, I have this button fun. I love its small, cute, lush leaves. Golden fern's foliage is bright, big and falls down while this button fern has dark green cute tiny foliage that grows vertically and adds lots of greenery to the space. Both ferns have their unique qualities. 
this side towards the edge of the balcony receive more light so I have kept the chrysanthemum here to add some colors and blooms. Chrysanthemum is herbaceous perennial which survive in cool temperatures beautifully. You can keep chrysanthemum in direct morning sunlight or dapple shade but avoid harsh sunlight. Next to that I have philodendron brassil which is growing nice and long. On the higher fourth side rack I have kept such plants that don't need water frequently because for my height it is quite difficult to reach out them. Here I have sedum adolfi firestorm low growing sun living succulent plant. Next to that snake plants and aglonema green. I have used this rack edges for growing hanging plants. These pots are generally used for making a vertical garden. They come with these hooks so you can use them for hanging purpose. I have placed small pots inside them. Most of these have different varieties of pothos because pothos are probably the easiest and fastest growing plant and we can propagate them easily. Down here in the corner I have this philodendron bulb max. I love its shiny heart shaped huge leaves. It is perfect plant to add lot of greenery in corner. Its growth rate is quite fast and it loves humidity. But now in the monsoon already humidity level is high so you will notice a lot of new growth in philodendrons, monstera, syngoniums, ferns, pothos, they love humidity. The plants that I am growing here on the edges are all tall plants that need good light. I have kept them on the stand. Here I have green aglonema, very hardy, low maintenance plant. Next to that are rubber plants. They are eye-catching tropical plants. Love their large and glossy leaves. Plus they are strong plants, low maintenance and very easy to care for. This one is variegated ficus rupee. I think it's one of the most stunning varieties of ficus elastica. Last month I cut the stem from the top and see here new growth is coming out. And this is the stem cutting that I placed into the water and now it started rooting. This one is around 2 year old plain burgundy rubber plant. I used to keep it in our living room but due to not enough light I recently moved it here to the balcony. During winter this area receives bright intense sunlight uh, till afternoon. At that time I try to keep flowering plants here and move these foliage plants indoors. Next to it I have this tropical humidity loving plants Philodendron pedatum and both have amazing foliage. Look at this. On the top of the graves I have kept some hanging planters. These are tangled hearts. It is an adorable hanging succulent that grows like wheat. In this planter I have burrow's tail. It is my cutest hanging succulent. I am obsessed with these heavy hanging fronds which are trailing down from the hanging basket. I have this particular plant for 3 years now and I could say it is one of the easiest succulent to take care of. The next planter has Syngonium. Look at their beautiful leaves. This is our old storage unit that is now turned into plant table. And below here in storage I keep all fertilizers, pesticides, cocoa peat, perlite, all the gardening related material. Here in this corner I have my favorite plant Monstera. Last year this cutting was propagated in the water and I also shared that video how to propagate Monstera deliciosa and Swiss cheese vine. This is the same cutting that I showed in the video and now look at its growth it is growing flawlessly. Down here I have kept my all dendrobium orchids because they are fan of humidity and keeping plants close to each other helps in increasing humidity. Recently I have observed a lot of new growth in these orchids so I am hoping to see flowers soon. 
for growing orchids you need to have patience to see their blooms here are my recent purchased plants philodendron silver sword kalkin gold and kongo all are growing well i have told you about them in my last video my philodendron collection here is peperomia variegata begonia cymbal alocasia bambino mini monstera and chrysanthemum here on top we have fixed metal hanging hooks for hanging plants here is my hanging basket that i made a couple of months back if you are interested you can check out that video how to make hanging baskets here is golden fern which is propagated through division few months back these are spider plants and here is one bamboo planter with some succulents we have also made small sitting arrangement with this ikea lightweight table and chairs these chairs are compact lightweight and foldable so at the time of cleaning the balcony i can fold them and keep them aside here on the table top this is the chrysanthemum and calathea calatheas are known for their fuzzy nature but this variety is quite hardy and once the monsoon arrives and humidity level is up they grow healthy and beautifully they look amazing in this season and this is my cup of succulents and that's all guys about my little green paradise i can sit here all day looking at my plants that's all about this balcony i hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to garden vibes and also follow us on instagram my instagram handle is garden vibes 14 Thanks for watching. See you soon. Till then, take care and happy gardening and happy monsoon.